What say you to taking on some work from Naldic and Vimelis? We've a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run this missive over to Atberm, the head shipwright at the Morabi Dry Docks. We forge most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of Lower Lana Sea. That's also where you'll find the main offices of Naldic and Vimelis. The Morabi Dry Docks is one of Limsalam and Sa's most important districts at least as far as I'm concerned and I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's etherite. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be best served making use of the Chocobo Porters. First floor of the Mizenmist, in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow the road south. May the navigator guide your steps. I see you have been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words it shows in your bearing, in your unwavering gaze. It is time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in western Lanasi. This monster is no Kujitat, but the threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. How to find this beast? Well. I am fortunate enough to count among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Rainfred. He took up residence in Aleport some years ago, and will gladly aid you in this task. With Renfred's assistance, you are to track down this prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. You in need of work, lass. The name's Orwen, and I'm a representative of the Adventurer's Guild. Notice the hat? I keep a record of tasks what the locals need doing, then dole em out to adventurers what look capable. Now, you look capable, but the last sod I reckoned was tough enough got his face bit off by a bleeding wharf rat. You need to prove to me you can handle me jobs. 
Take a look at this here task. Does that seem like some odd you could do? Alright, then. You need to beckon to your client, Meme Rune, to help lead him to his destination. One oh Wernso and girls, are yet? Why, I've known that Sprat since he was knee high to a well, he was always kind of a big fella, was Wernso and. And now they call him Axie Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So, I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble? What ya need do, then, is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley, and give a good whistle. The mean bugger you're after his name's Patripodin, by the by will come running across the weeded plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see, so ya better have that cleaver o' yours ready. Oscon's blessings be upon yet. Completed the task, have you? Then you need only collect your reward. I, I reckon you're tough enough to take on the rest of me leaves. 
Aleport's an important hub for trade in the region, and there's no shortage of tasks to be had. I look forward to seeing you make a difference here, adventurer. You have a missive for me from Forge Master H. Nanza? I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon past. Let's see it, then. Blast and botheration. 
Another delay? I am well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. My apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? Mama, is it? Well, Mama, this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory, the first new vessel to grace the docks since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship it is the symbol of Limsalamansa's rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Thus we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet even with such unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of odd jobs for a hard-working adventurer. Be you fair warned there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Where in the seven hells is that man? Not once in twelve moons has he been late with a shipment, and now two whole turns of the sun without a single word. A shipwright of mine a young man named Faril Zimit recently left Candlekeep Key to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from Limsalamansa, but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Hall Broda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right, nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. That man knows something, and I severely doubt he is telling me the whole truth. As I cannot leave my post, I would ask you to travel to Candlekeep Key in my stead and inform Hall Broda that if he insists on playing these games, I will personally see that he is transferred to Turtleback Island, where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for eternity. Does that self-righteous dog at Berm doubt that I've never told him anything less than the truth? Turtleback Island? He cannot do that, can he? I swear on my poor Nana's grave, navigator rest her soul, I know not of this for Rilzimid, nor his precious supplies. Else, we here at the Key have had enough trouble these past few suns, what with the sinking of that Lamansan cargo ship off the Salt Strand. I haven't the time to take a proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders in off the grip. Now, the way I see it, if you have time to be standing here questioning my character, then you most certainly have the time to get that arse of yours down to the salt strand and help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows? 
You may just run across this for that everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. I'm for Rilzimid. Yes, say the foreman's wondering on me whereabouts. I thought he might be. But ye must know, I cannot show me face at the dry docks until I've righted the terrible wrong I caused. Two nights passed, I made the trip from the dry docks to Candlekeep Key, just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough, and the captain of the cargo ship was wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs, so I paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her. By the time we was halfway twixt shore and ship, the swells had risen to nigh on ten yalms, and twas tea long afore the waves had hold of us. Try as we might to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight, and we was flung headlong into the Laman Sand Galley. When I awoke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was to collect lay strewn across the salt strand. I's made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with kakirn, and I ain't a one with a sword. And now ye see why it is I cannot return to the dry docks. That night, I was tossed into the sea like some doll of rags, and it weren't long afore the world round me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells, and I woke to find myself washed ashore. And here I's been, ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage me master's cargo. The missing parts. I I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away, but first I must stop by the key so that I might pay me respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful o' coin. Could ye tell Atberm that I'll be back at the dry docks by daybreak? Many thanks, adventurer. I will not forget this kindness.
I am relieved to hear that both Faril Zimit and the supplies are unharmed, though it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for that which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent the dry docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candle Keep Key was of a less natural sort the sort which the Sahajan have been known to conjure. Mama. While I originally had doubts about your motives, you have repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Naldic and Vimelis. I still do not like you, but that does not mean I do not trust you. Gimpeta, head of the watch here at the Dry Docks, believes that pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory, and she requires assistance investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. I have recommended you for the task. Despite all Limsa Lamansa endured before, during, and following the calamity, the fact that there are still those who would turn their backs on the city, state so that they might line their pockets with a few handfuls of coin. Just the thought of it sickens me. Ah, yes. I had a feeling you would be the one at Berm sent. Since you first arrived at the Morabi Dry Docks, I have had my men watch you. Oh, there's no need to get angry. I make it a point to keep an eye on all those new to the area. It is simply protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing, incriminating was found. You appear to be a model citizen. That, and the foreman seems to think somewhat highly of you, which I must admit is quite shocking. The man doesn't even trust his own mother. Very well, then. I assume Atberm informed you of what your task would entail. The pirates we believe are conspiring to raid the dry docks were last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach the men, posing as a lost adventurer, and see if you cannot somehow learn of their intentions. Sinangho stationed at the rear gates can provide you with an exact location of the camp. Mama. Haha. Ha. I knew it. No more sardines for Sinang Ho. Tonight, I shall dine on the finest salmon on the peninsula. Why? Well, I had a little wager going with some of the other guards on who Eperm would recommend for the next job. My money was on you. Ah, the job. Yes, of course. If you follow the road past the gates to the southeast, you will eventually come to a barren cape with a single large stone half buried in the cliff overlooking the sea. Followers of the Twelve say it's a holy place dedicated to Naimaya, the spinner. I'd be surprised if the pirates camped up there were aware of that, though.
I'm given yet to the count of nine to step back on that path, and carry your vent urine arse back down to whatever rocket is yet crawled out from under. Yes see, eyes added up to me ears with your type, Roman hills like they was yours to roam. It's getting to be that a man can he enjoy a mug o' rum without some shite breath outlander running up a skin which is the way to the local lead meat. Seven L's if I know. I'm a bloody pirate, gods damn it. Thou's balls. Once we obey me boy back, I'm put in this god's forsaken pistol of an island so far behind me, ain't no one remember I was ever here. Come on, scrags. We snives to sharpen. So the trespassers are indeed pirates, and they are indeed planning something. But what is this talk of getting me boy back? Could it be that their target never was the victory? Something is not right, and I won't sit by idly waiting for those pirates to make the first move. I shall order increased patrols immediately. Thank you again for your help, Mama. It appears we were wise to put our trust in you. I have been in contact with Rainfred, and he had naught but praise for you, Mama. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There is one more task I would have you complete this day a task that will demonstrate for you just how strong you have become. Report to Skipkim where he waits on the bank of the Agelis River, and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Lass, I know why you're here. And after seeing this big old boulder, I'd wager you know why you're here, too. Now, my rock's a bit more of a challenge than those pebbles rot game had you training on to crack this beauty will require a relatively heavy swing. Impossible, you say? Ha, Wernzo and wouldn't send you out here if he didn't think you capable. Would you look at that? And on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you.
I knew you would return before long the deafening crack of shattering boulder reached me even here. This feat of strength deserves recognition, and you shall have it in the form of a new technique. Adopted and perfected by our guild forebears, the tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful ranged strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kyujita weighs heavily on your mind, Mama. But hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek only a steady, measured ascent. <laughs> 